So here we've got a question that's drawing back on what you know from SN1 reactions. And the question is, which of these is reacting faster in an SN1 reaction? Well, if you recall here, I've got a tertiary halide, and here I've got a secondary halide. And you learn that tertiary halides react faster than secondary halides in SN1. So, and I want to remind you of why. So first thing that happens in SN1 reaction, the rate determining step, is the leaving group just leaves. And so in this case, we're going to end up with a tertiary carbocation. In this example, we'd end up with a secondary carbocation. And because the tertiary carbocation is more stable, that's why the top reaction is faster. So it's all about forming the most stable carbocation. Well, that's going to be the same case here, but now it's going to apply to aromaticity. So in this case, if we're doing SN1, the first thing that would happen is the leaving group would leave. So in the bottom example here, we'd end up with this carbocation. Sorry, the top example. And in the bottom example, we'd end up with this carbocation. So and in this case, the question really comes down to, are either of these aromatic or anti-aromatic that could either make it faster or slower? So well, the first example here, we've got cyclic and conjugated. Uh, no sp3 hybridized atoms. They're all sp2. So definitely can be planar. And in this case, we've only got the one pi bond there in, the in this resonant structure. So one set of pi electrons. And with two pi electrons, that is a 4n plus 2 number. And this structure is aromatic. And that makes it more stable. Whereas in the next one here, now, again, cyclic and conjugated, yep, no sp3s, good, planar for sure. But now we've got four pi electrons. And that's a 4n number, a multiple of four. And that makes this anti-aromatic and not so stable. And so if one of these is going to be faster, whichever one forms the more stable carbocation, and the aromatic one is by far the more stable carbocation. So one other place we can apply the concept of aromaticity is in acidity. Uh, and if you recall, we ranked acids way back in the day uh, by looking at their conjugate bases. The more stable conjugate base is a weaker base, and a weaker base has a stronger conjugate acid. So in this case, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to look at conjugate bases, and specifically, we're going to deprotonate on the sp3 hybridized atoms. So neither one of these structures is aromatic. They're both non-aromatic because they both have an sp3 hybridized atom. Uh, but we're going to deprotonate each of these structures. So we're going to have some base come along and pull off a hydrogen. Now let's take a look at what the conjugate bases would look like. Because by ranking those, that can give us a better idea of how strong these acids are. So in this case, we'd get this lovely species. And in this one, we'll get this species. So, and in this case, we definitely have pi electrons there and pi electrons there. So this carbon atom is not making any pi bonds, so the lone pair has a chance to count. And if the lone pair counts as pi electrons, that'd be two, four, six pi electrons, which is an aromatic number. So if they count, he's aromatic. If they don't count, then he's sp3 hybridized and he's non-aromatic, and being aromatic is better. So he's aromatic. Makes him a very stable conjugate base, a weak conjugate base, and it's gonna, turns out, makes him come from a stronger conjugate acid, as we'll see in a sec. Uh, with this other one here, so these are definitely pi electrons, pi electrons, and pi electrons. And the question is, are those pi electrons? Well, in this case, he's got two, four, six for sure. These two, with a lone pair, would make it eight. That would make him anti-aromatic, and we don't want that. So he's better off just being sp3 hybridized, this carbon right here. And that's simply going to make him non-aromatic. And that is definitely not as stable as our aromatic one here. So in this case, again, this is the weaker conjugate base. And the weaker conjugate base comes from the stronger conjugate acid.